who is prudent. Being prudent means having a sound judgment. It means you are able to take the right decision at every point in your life that you need you know, to move forward into a new place, into a new space, you know, acquiring some new things in your life or in your work with God. And then when, when it comes to having some knowledge, that means you have acquired a level of knowledge required, required at that particular time. The, the, the body of knowledge that you have, that I have, will give us access into a place of having a sound judgment. That is, you can be, that, that is when you can be referred to as being prudent. OC chapter 14 verse 9. OC 14:9. I'll be reading and the New King James Version. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. If you look at the second part of that verse, who is prudent? Let him know them. Knowledge brings prudence. The acquired knowledge brings you into a place of prudence and then I can actually see some judgment coming from you. You cannot have some judgment regarding any matter in your life, in your family, in your ministry, in your daily living without acquiring knowledge. That takes me to the uh, book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. When Paul prayed to the church in Colossae, he prayed for them. He said, I therefore pray for you to have the knowledge of the will of God. The knowledge of God's will. He then proceeded and asking for them wisdom and understanding. The first thing is knowledge. Knowledge of God's will brings you as a believer into a position of wisdom. Then understanding comes as a result of that. I want to say that again. The knowledge of God that you have, the knowledge of his will, expressing the understanding of the persons of the Holy Spirit gives you wisdom. It brings you into a position of understanding. Then I can say this guy has the understanding of what he's talking about. What makes us desire the knowledge of God? Fear of God. You can only want that desire. You can only desire that knowledge when you fear Him. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. It takes you into a place of wisdom. It brings you into a dimension of, of understanding. In order for you and I to please God, we need to subject to the leadership of the Spirit. Therefore, we can be taught. Then we can acquire knowledge. The knowledge of the book is not enough. Knowledge of life experience is not enough. We need to submit to the promptings of the Spirit so that we can be knowledgeable knowledge about the person of God because we need to know His will. He gives us greater exposure and access to the heart of God. The Spirit of God is a teacher. He brings you and I into an exposure. He, acts, he gives us access into the mind of God. Therefore, we can speak the minds of God. We can think the mind of God. We have access. Then when we are taking decisions, we, we can have sound judgment by the understanding of God that we have through His through His Spirit. I pray for you today for you to have more knowledge of Him. I pray for a revelation of being prudent in Him so that you can have sound judgment on a daily basis in your family, affairs, in your business, in your work with God, in relating with others, in living a life of peace and joy on this earth. We need to be prudent. Who is prudent? prudent being prudent means having a sound judgment and the knowledge of God that we have takes us into a place of peace with Him. Thanks for listening. Stay connected to Him who gives access into the mind of God, the Holy Spirit. Blessings to you.